Uh, yeah, so before I start this Gary's vlog, I did a little sort of voiceover or talk. I'll probably put the a lot of the a lot of the footage on as like a voiceover. Um, I hurt my back last week, last Sunday. I deadlifting again. I've been powerlifting like ten year. A lot of people don't even know I lift weights and shit because I just post about bricklaying. Um, I'll put probably a few clips of my competitions over the years, over the last 10 years, so, and then I'll put up a video of me, like, sort of hurting my back, uh, but it's been alright, it's been alright, I pulled, basically just pulled my lower back, not, I didn't slip a disc luckily or anything, um, but I just pulled the lower back muscles, and it's been recovering last week, I've been obviously working, uh, but, yeah, there's a little workout and I'll, uh, cut you to, you know, the voiceover or, you know, whatever, right, I'll see you in a bit. But I'm out here this morning. But yeah, I've got. I'm gonna start wearing the Fitbit. It's a Fitbit Versa Two. It's. I got it as a present a couple of years ago. I hardly use it, and it's a bit shit to be honest. They're selling them off now. You can get one brand new for like eighty quid. But I'm gonna start using that at work. You can just flick, flick. It's not really any. You know, I don't use it for the step tracking or shit like that because it's used Strava anyway. But it's good to change your music on the fly with Spotify. That's what I use. I use a Dewalt. I don't listen to fucking radio stations. Don't want to listen to adverts all day. To be fucking heading. I've just got. I use the Spotify Premium, and you can flick through that on your on your watch, as opposed to having to fucking put your trial down or put down whatever you're doing and fucking pick your phone up. Because I, you know, as soon as you put your trial down or your brick, you're losing money effectively. I try not to. I'm gonna have a look into trial magnets. Um, I'm not a fan of them. I don't like plastering my Senwi Gobbo, but if I do get into the habit of tapping my trowel off, I'm going to try to get a, a trowel magnet and try to keep my phone out of my pocket. Basically get used to not having my phone and just using my watch to change my tunes. Um, it's not cellular, you see, this watch. It's not cellular. Um, you know, as long as I've got my phone near me, I might start wearing, if it comes to summer, I might start wearing some sort of, I don't know, like a, somewhere to keep my phone, whether it's a belt or somewhere to keep my phone in. And I can have my trial magnet on my side. That's the only thing, you know, the neodymium magnets are fucking, they're a bit dangerous when it comes to wiping your fucking memory on your phone and whatnot. You don't want to be putting your phone near magnets. Um, so yeah, we're off to a new job on, on Monday. So yeah, we've fast forwarded to Monday from that last garage clip. Um, so yeah, I started on that new job. I thought I'd just, you know, sort of amend what I was talking about in the last video. Um, I've finally done it. I finally took the plunge. Finally expanded the gang. Um, got another odd carrier starting on uh, tomorrow. Uh, lives near me, so it's dead, uh, dead easy. Dead easy to have someone in every day looking after me and Dean, whether Dean's in or not, obviously. Um, I have noticed, um, you know, we have been lacking labour, you know what I mean? We've been lacking labour for a while. And after, I was looking back over the last video, we had a plot that was a van lift that was, uh, you know, you know, 70% loaded out, in a sense. And that was in front, obviously, effectively. And I was just looking back at the last Brit Lane video and the amount of work I got done, not, have, not having to basically put the trowel down effectively. I had to get my own gobbo, obviously, because I was solo pretty much, with just an apprentice helping me. Um, but it's valuable. It's very valuable having gear loaded out in front, never having to put your trowel down. So uh, Dean is going to be really, you know really pushed to come on and run the trowel basically now you know he's going to be on the trowel pretty much uh, full time he'll drop off when he, when he has to um, but yeah it should be good I, I've been delaying I've been delaying sort of expanding the gang for a while because it does take a little bit more stress having an extra person to manage but um, what I'm setting on I know him this fucking mint uh, on the hod you know and he likes it on the hod you know what I mean there's one thing you know Dean don't always like loading up all, like tons and tons of gear. This lad loves it, so you know Dean rather be on the tools. This lad would rather be on the odd, but 
I've already always got time for another one eventually to get on the trowel. We could have uh, could have a buddy gang of four at some point, but we're starting to get more work now. The the pace of the sites are becoming more demanding. You know, with social housing, they want them up. They want them up. They're all fucking paid for. They want them up. So, you know, an extra set of hands it just equals fucking more speed and more money. You know what I mean? Quicker plots. And I'll be able to uh, I experiment going back to boards, not with wood, with plastic. I mean, uh, I was talk, talking to Charlie Hoyson earlier in the year. He ran about coming over doing some videos. I want on board with it. I want, uh, I want, I want right in the mind frame for making videos. As you as you can see, I only make a video once every few weeks now. I've been out of it. I have been out of it. I've not been wanting to record, but. Uh, I'm getting a new helmet cam, helmet for my helmet cam, should I say, for my GoPro, and I'm getting back into it slowly. I still don't really, I'm not still fully into it with the recording at work, but I might, I'm getting back into it slowly, and you know, I'm taking motivation where I can uh, from other YouTubers and stuff. So anyway, right, let's cut to the uh, cut to the rest of the workout. So I'm using a, a band as assistance. I used to, um, I used to do these weighted. I was you know well strong at dips, but I'm recovering. You know I'm building back muscle, building back strength and stuff from many years of um, you know of injury, and obviously I was fucking smashing booze for the best part of a couple of years as well. Um, and I've been drink. I yeah, I've been drinking for fucking too much for years and years for the past ten years or more. So hindered my lifting over the years, but. Like eight months over now still, so go back to uh, try to get some dips in. I'm getting about two reps, probably body weight at the moment. I weigh still a pretty hefty 100 kilos. Back on my competition body weight um, when I was powerlifting was 120, and I did a competition at 100. The first competition was at 100, and I've dropped down to 100 numerous times. So um, probably about probably if I lose another 10 kilo at least. I'll be back to, I'll be the lightest I've probably been since I was 17, so I was about 90, 90 kilo, 80, 90 kilo at, at 18, so if I can get there before 30, I've got a couple of years, so I'm 30, so if I get back to 85, 90 kilo, I'll be dead, I'll be dead, uh, dead lean by then, uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to you, uh, focus on, um, some uh, focus on just I'm just focusing on on the uh, dips at the moment. Dips are a great exercise for your chest, triceps, shoulders. Um, yeah, it's just an overall great exercise if done correctly. I have messed my shoulder up a few times, but it's mainly going too deep on your dips. You know, trying to get that deep stretch that isn't always great for injury prevention. trying to stop a couple of reps before failure as well just because I'm recovering obviously from my back and I'm just building back strength so last week the last video you saw of me doing uh, dips I was only getting probably four or five reps now same same assistance band I'm getting six eight uh, with one in the one spare so I'm just trying to keep it um, keep it dead conservative and then I'm going to go do some chins in a minute I'll do three sets three sets of dips three sets of chins that is my workout that is literally it a little bit of warm up with body with just assisted um, that's about it so and then we're off to working we're off to set off to go get my car in an hour and off to work should get there for probably 
half nine or something like that. But I'll do one more set because that's feeling quite easy. Cough is finally kicking through my system, so um, I don't uh, I don't buy coffee anymore. The last six months, seven months, eight months, don't buy coffee. I just get sachets, put it, make it at home, have a flask. Um, a lot of things, a lot of things can healthier, save you money as well I suppose, yeah, save you money definitely, but fucking hell, pop's getting dear, if you, if you have bought a glass of pop at a pub, Jesus, fucking dear, right, because that because they're feeling pretty good, I'm just going to take a little minute rest and then do some body weight. I'm used to the body weight stuff, so I'm going to go for a body weight AMRAP PD post, post, uh, uh, back to training sort of post sober. So yeah, right, let's see, let's see what we can get. Move this out of the way so I don't hang me then. I reckon set. I reckon I'm gonna do a set of five or six. I just I need to get the nervous system fired up a little bit. Whew. Get the nervous system fired up. We'll go for a set of five. Seven. That is phenomenal, to be honest. Considering I couldn't do even one probably about a week ago, a week or two ago. So it's progression. It's progression right there. So we do a few chins, and then uh, it'll be seven o'clock. So uh, I'll load the car up and chill out there for a bit and get changed. So yeah, right, let's do some chins. So I, uh, I don't know if anyone likes these voiceovers sort of working out and stuff. I'm trying to look for like a different content to post because I'm going to start doing some running stuff soon. Um, some of my slow runs. A bit of voiceovers, uh, voiceovers and stuff, a few vlogs and stuff. Um, just because I don't always want to film on site. It's just dismal. It is dismal, you know, seeing filming a building site all the time, you know, you spend, I spend, you know, 10 hours a day, 10 hours a day, you know, I get there a lot of the times now, depending on location of site, between 8, half past, sometimes I've got, like, last week, um, which where I did that video on that band lift, you know, 1000 bricks every day video, I got there at half 7, and, not saying I got more done, but, like, when, you solo, you can get a little bit more prepared uh, when you ain't got an extra set of hands, you know. Um, half seven is a bit late, a bit early for me because we're travelling an hour anyway to this job. Hopefully, the next job will be maybe forty minutes, so you know we'll be getting there probably at quart, you know, ten to eight anyway because uh, we set off around quart seven, quart past seven. It's mainly me who don't get up early enough. Dean's here waiting at probably. Seven, five past seven, all the time. So it's basically me who isn't getting up early enough. Um, but you know, you've got to, you know, you can't. I, this is the one thing I always talk about as well. Your body needs different amounts of rest on different days. If you've, if you know, if you've been just building corners all day and you've laid three, four, five hundred bricks, you're going to be, you know, a lot less knackered compared to if you laid a thousand. Then you've loaded a pack out, or say you've been loading out a lift for a day. And then you've tried to get some, tried to start laying at the end of the day or whatever. Each day you're gonna need less rest. Like yesterday, yesterday were a pretty steady day for me. It was just top outs and corner building. You know, I'd build corners on top outs. Um, 
especially they don't have gable ladders, you know, so it's just building a six course, you know, building a six or eight course corner, running them in, it's dead easy work for me, dead steady, a lot of the time, you know, because the top art is diminishing, you know, it's a lot of times me laying, so it's dead easy, less, a lot less thinking, we started at like half ten y yesterday, and we finished at like half five, so half nine, half ten, half eleven, half twelve, half one, half two, half three, five, so, oh, sorry, half one, half two. So we did like seven hours on site and I had like about an hour break in that, half an hour, hour break while I was waiting for scaffold lifts and stuff, uh, table lifts, and well, that's only six hour work for me. Six hour work is a dead easy day, so I didn't need as much sleep, so. Right, let's uh, let's uh, go for some chin ups, which I'm terrible at. I think my my best I could do set of twelve, set of ten. I'll even say I'm going to say ten or eight because I want that strong chin. So we're going to do some assisted chin ups today, and we'll just do we'll just do four head chins. I'm not doing chin above the bar because I think I'll hit my head on the fucking. I haven't got it set up right yet for chins. Ugh. Oh. So you see I've got well long arms Like you see that's me touching the bar And I'm going to about I'm going to about here or oh, anymore, my knees are grazing the floor. I can't lift my legs up any higher. Um, this is as high as it goes, I think. I'm pretty sure this is as high as the chin up station goes. Um, I will have a check, but I'm 99% sure it don't go any higher. Um, so I'm pretty much limited and it is a bad design. Because my knees hit this, there's a bar down here, you can't see it, but it's only cheap, this was cheaper, I bought this, I bought this one at like 20, this is like 6, 7 year old this, so down there, behind them weights, there's a bar here, and my knees hit that full extension, so I have to sort of semi-rep them, you know, so yeah, right, we'll do another set, I think I got 4 there, 4 or 5 was it, I was doing pretty well. I get such a good, such a good pump with anything chin up, anything dip. It's so good. I don't have to pick up my dumbbells really. I'm not doing any dumbbell work. I'm going to work now, soon. So no dumbbell work today. But you don't need to do much training to get a good effect as well. This is what you know. A lot of people say I've got a good gym. Got to do fucking three sets on this machine, ten sets on this machine. Fucking. Hanging off of a fucking effectively a scaffold with an, with an assistance band because I'm unfit. Because I'm fucking. I'm not as fit as I should be. I'm a bit heavy. You know? Uh, you know, strength. Strength and fucking muscle size isn't always fitness. You know what I mean? So. And now, before I get a comment, I've not ever took gear before. Um. You don't need to, you know, you train long enough, you don't need to take fucking... So, it's such... So fucking, this day and age with Instagram, every fucking kid's on gear. You don't need to take gear. You just need to train for like 10 years and you'll fucking look miles better than anyone who's just started taking gear. Or anyone who takes gear and trains sort of casually, you'll look miles better. And you won't lose all your muscle, you know, as soon as you come off... As soon as you come off gear, steroids, whatever you want to call them now, I think there's different names for them, like SARMs and all sorts of stuff. As soon as you take gear and you come off, you lose all your size anyway. So you want to build everything natural, you know. Everything natural. You know, some people, a lot of people don't eat enough food to gain size, you know. They're too scared about getting fat. Still too scared about getting a fucking belly. But get a belly. You know, get a bit of fat on you, build, have that surplus to build muscle, and you can always trim it off later. You know, you know, you're not going to be as lean, you're not going to be as big, natural, but you can build plenty of muscle.
so. That's well, that is well. Five reps. I don't think I've been doing five reps so I just skimmed my head on that. So I'm gonna have to because I'm not using the power rack, I'm going to shift the power rack back that way, but there's, some, there's loads of weights in wherever I move over that weekend. So yeah, this setup should be getting better soon. So, uh, what are we on? Seven. We're on, we're on six minutes past, so we're on 57 minutes past six, so uh, we're going to do two more. Do one more set with the band and then we're gonna go try again body weight, see if my body's climatized to chins. I'm only doing forehead or eyes to the bar, so forehead to the bar. I haven't got at the moment range to go above. Ideally you wanna do chin above the bar at full stretch. That's why it's called chin up. But and you wanna you wanna go all the way down the bottom, but I ain't got the uh, necessary equipment at the moment. So I'm stopping about probably I'm stopping at about here. You know, ideally you wanna go to there, but I ain't got that range of motion at the moment uh, with this with the equipment. But soon I'm gonna adapt. I'm gonna I might get a better one of these because we've got another 450 high here, and then. If I could get this another 300 higher, that would be perfect um, because I'd be at full extension reaching. Ideally, you want you want probably 100 mil clearance for your head, but it's hard in these lower ceiling, you know, not you know, boxy houses. So, let's try it again. there I reckon I reckon we're gonna try one this is a this is a two or three rep PB from last week though I was only getting three with a band I think or two so let's try body weight now wrap this around so we don't hang ourselves And eventually I might be able to grip wide. That's the next level of difficulty. So right. Body weight now. Oh. One. One. Ugh. Ugh. Fast forward to Sunday morning, it's the long run. Hold on a minute. Yeah, it's 7 o'clock. It's Sunday, I've been up since probably 4. I tried to laze about in bed for a little bit until sunrise, so natural light of the, of the earth wakes me up. <coughs> so, yeah, it's a long, long run day. Still debating how many miles I'm gonna run. I'm gonna do probably nine mile, I think. It's 15k, I think. 10k is a little bit easy now for a long run. Um, since I can do it under an hour, I like to run like an hour and a half. So I'll be back for probably half eight, half eight, quarter nine, something like that. And uh, our lad should be up by then. Um, you know, he he's not sleep regularly still. It's got a lot, lot better though in the last year, I'd say. Uh, nights like these where we get woke up at like three in the morning, a very sort of only a couple of times a week now, as opposed to five or six times out of a week, um, which is why I've had to really adapt my life uh, to not drinking. I love drinking, loved it, I loved it, but 
would it benefit me at all? Obviously, when it comes to work, obviously, seeing what I get done now, and uh, and uh, when it comes to life, I could not sustain life. Could not sustain my day to day life drinking and having to sort of run on sub, you know, having extra stresses in my life, you know, like lack of sleep. It's just devastating sleep deprivation. If you've watched the beginning of the video, um, <coughs> sorry, if you watched the beginning of the video, you saw me like a timeline of me lifting and my competitions with powerlifting and stuff. Um, you know, I've always been a very fairly you know, I've always been an athletic individual, um, but it just shows how YouTube you can sna take a snapshot of like a year or two year of your life, and you can come across as something that you've historically was, you know, historically wasn't. You know, obviously YouTube. I used to, that's why like I'm doing this sort of different content. I like what Tricky Bricky's done with his DJ Tricky Bricky sort of thing. Um, Obviously, he's drinking and whatnot. He does on his streams, which I really used to enjoy. I, oh, I still do enjoy him. I still tune in now and again. Um, but I used to, you know, sit there with a beer and watch his watch his streams and stuff, his DJ sets or whatever he was doing. And I uh, find that really entertaining. So, I, you know, I like the personality side behind the YouTube thing. I know a lot of the YouTube channels coming up are just businesses, basically. Like, oh, you know, this is my fucking brick. This is my construction firm. This is my bricklaying landscaping firm. This is my bricklaying scaffolding firm, whatever. You know, it's sort of business oriented. YouTube's getting so business oriented now because there is money to be made in YouTube. YouTube's a massive platform to get your name out there. You know, visibility. You know, visibility is main thing. Um, but I'm still. You know, that's why I'm passionate about the vlog style of video. Sorry, I'm wearing this fucking head bunny. It makes me like I've got a mushroom. I, I hate wearing headbands, I do. I hate wearing them. They make me look like the stereotypical tennis coach. Um, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, but they're really good for stopping sweat. And I, some, I, I should have another one on my wrist. Like one of these folded up on my wrist that I wipe my sweat with. But... This sort of does kill a lot of the sweat. Um, running a tyre, uh, I'm changing this as I lose weight a lot of the time. But I've just got leggings that I normally wear for work. I've been using these for work now and again, but they're all right. They're not stained as of yet, so I'm going to get a new couple of pairs. Um, and just Amazon Thermal. Um, this is going to have to be changed soon because I can't be wearing thermals in summer. And I normally wear... Like a, a vest or something, but you get a lot of chafing under here. You do get a lot of chafing. I got like tons of chafing down in the uh, you know thigh area, but it's starting it's starting to subside now. I'm a bit leaner. Um, so yeah, um, I get to do this run and and uh, yeah, just hope everyone's enjoyed the bit more of the vlog style video. I'll add there back when he used to sleep. No, I didn't sleep even then. Right, anyway, see you in a bit. So I'm out here, um, I've done about 9k I think so far, just stopped to a little bit of filming. Um, I just ran behind a whole, an old holiday inn from years ago, beside the A1, there's like a fucking track that they've put in to plant more trees, uh, check it out. That used to be a travel lodge a long time ago, uh, I'm just running up here now, I'm, I'm not wearing my fair running shoes because I don't have any, but well, I did have some, but they're fucked. So, uh, I'm going to run up this trail, you can see, it seems, I found it on Strava, but it seems to have been planting much trees. Uh, which is fantastic for my running, it goes right back to where I live. So, this is sort of where I run, people think it's boring running in the countryside, but it's fucking amazing, I love it. I love being out in the country. Uh, I, don't, I won't want to live in a city. Um, probably... A little bit of farmer in me. Like being out, out near the outdoors. But yeah. Right. I get on this uh going on this run and I've seen a bit. So we did it, we did like 19 and a half K. Here's the Strava. And check me out on Strava and all. Um yeah, it took me fucking ages. See you in the next video. So yeah, that was the Gary Fog. Um hope you enjoyed it. 
um, if you're interested in more of these sort of stat videos where I'm like sort of out of work doing I might be talking about some tools or training or running in preparation for a marathon or half marathon I, I ran a half marathon uh, at the weekend well 1k shy of an half marathon I'll bang that up on screen now uh, from Strava follow me on Strava uh, if you're interested and yeah um, yeah this new job's looking good so I'll probably film something at some point you know just bear with me on that bear with me whenever I feel the urge to get some Edcam weighing bricks I will you know it, next week or so I want to get proper proper helmet set up and you know when I feel, feel the urge to I will um, but yeah there's some good content coming soon I've got a load of tips as well I've got a load of tips that I've not been sharing with the YouTubes um, tips for cutting bricks tips for cutting blocks I've got a I've got some dust free options um, or reduced dust options for thermalite blocks um, you know they, they require some certain tools um, but they are going to be you know there's, there's not a lot of people talking about them so I've, I've picked up some tips off a select few individuals and I've been learning they're still learning after all this time you know even with you know be putting up the thousand bricks every day video you know um, there's still more to be learned you know there's levels to this stuff you know what I mean there's levels to where you know you want to instead of doing a thousand you want to be in fifteen hundreds two thousand but quality bricks quality work you know what I mean no pulls on plot spotless cavities you know might I get slagged off in videos think that just because you're fast you're rough in the case there's, there's, there's levels to this so yeah anyway right Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next uh, either Gary's vlog or Brit Lane video. See you in a bit.